And hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of The Zone TV Movie Entertainment with me, your host Jonathan, once again bringing you my my thoughts and movie review for the brand new Ryan Reynolds film, The Hitman's Bodyguard's Wife, starring Ryan Reynolds, Samuel Jackson, Summer Ayak, Antonio Banderas. So, oh yeah, by the way, and also Morgan Freeman, I forgot. So the hitman's bodyguard's wife tells the story of Ryan Reynolds, who's a hitman, who's a bodyguard for pretty much, you know, he protects, you know, certain clients. You know, he has to be basically a bodyguard, protect anybody who he gets paid for. He's kind of in a down slope, you know. He, you know, he kind of ran into Samuel Jackson's character in the previous film, and uh, you know, he's down on his luck, and, he, and he's just trying to get his, I. I, maybe his groove back in a way. I really don't want to spoil too much about this film. But what I would say is that something happens to Ryan Reynolds' character from the first film that kind of brings it over to this film. And he's in a down slope. So he ends up meeting um, Samuel Jackson's wife in the film, played by Sama Hayek, who needs his help to pretty much find Sam's character because he got kidnapped by the mob. And then they end up going on a rescue mission to try to get him back. And then from there, they pretty much find out that they, the three of them have to team up to pretty much save the entire world from being destroyed by this evil power Italian rich man, played by Antonio Banderas. And they have to stop him before he just destroys the world by attacking the ocean. I'll leave it at that. So... Is this movie any good? Honestly, got to be completely honest with you, I enjoyed this movie a lot. I thought this movie was funny. I thought this movie had great action scenes. I, I love the chemistry between, you know, the first movie I really enjoyed too. And seeing Samuel Jackson and Ryan Reynolds work together was fun. But I really thought his chemistry was Sama Ayak was awesome. And yet, yeah, there were some moments in the first one too but not as much, you know, with them in this movie. This movie really stood out because, honestly, the two of them on screen together was, like, the funniest thing you were going to see this year. We, I mean, we haven't seen every comedy movie that has come out yet, but still. So far, this is off the gate. This one is number one so far. But there were some great moments in here. I mean, great action, you know, funny moments. I mean, we even got an iconic scene together with two two actors that you rarely ever see them work together. I won't tell you how and who it is, but let's just say they're like they're pretty much the two greatest actors of all time in in, in their respective genres that they do. But when they're on screen together, it was so awesome to see. They don't have that much screen time together, but when you watch, it's like we never had that. That's awesome. So when you watch it, you gotta make sure you pay attention because honestly. When I saw it, I had to go back and think, wait, did these two ever work together before? Is this the first time? And it worked, and it was great. And we even got a reunion with um, Antonio Banderas and Sama Hayek, and we haven't seen those two since, uh, well, for me, I haven't seen them since, I guess, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, uh, uh, Mexico, sorry, raw movie. <laughs> so, you know, it's been, and, you know, it's been a while since those two worked together, so it was nice seeing Antonio Banderas uh, team, you know, not, not teaming up, but just, you know, sp seeing him in screen with Sama Ayak. So that was cool. And I liked this character. He was like that, kind of like that bondish, cartoony villain that you would see in the old school style of James Bond villains. And he played it pretty well. You know, and I don't like Antonio Banderas. He's, like, he's a fun actor. I think he's really cool. So I enjoyed this film. I thought it was a lot of laughs and uh, great action scenes. I think Frank Grillo's in this movie as well. He was okay, you know, he didn't have that much screen time, but he was still fun for what he, what he had in the film. And it worked. Like I said, I think the cast did a great job. I like the action scenes, and I kind of hope they make a third one. I think they kind of set up a third one without actually setting up a third one, but um, anything is possible. So, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about this film, if you guys saw it. If you have, did you guys enjoy it more than the first one? Did you guys enjoy it less? Equal... Leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about the Hitman's Bodyguard's wife. And do you guys want more? Stay tuned for more and subscribe for more. Thank you very much and have a good day.